trade agreements or the FTAs are agreements reached between two or more nations in order to reduce or eliminate trade barriers and tariff rates. These contracts may cover the sale of commodities, services, investments and other things as well as intellectual property rights. FTAs support nations in building a more solid and seamless partnership when it comes to commerce and financial gains. India has signed 13 trade agreements with different nations for diverse reasons. According to the Press Information Bureau, this includes, but is not limited to, a free trade agreement on trade and commerce with Bhutan, the South Asian Free Trade Area Agreement with South Asian countries, the Comprehensive Economic Cooperation Agreement between Singapore and ASEAN, Japan, Malaysia and many other countries. A number of RFTAs are also currently under negotiations or will probably be signed in the next few months or a year. FTAs with the UAE, Israel, Australia, the UK, the EU, Canada and other countries are all under negotiations currently. The primary basis of all free trade agreements is that the rules of origin. A shift in India's perspective. India's recent pullout from the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership with the ASEAN highlighted various concerns about its approach to international trade cooperation. In addition, the government had advised people to choose local brands and products over imported ones during the start of the COVID-19 economic downturn. Before this, however, could be investigated further. The government returned to its position of encouraging economic cooperation as the economy began to improve. With the aforementioned nations, it started talks on nearly seven FTAs. It has not yet started talks with Canada. India is the country with the most free trade agreements, including those in proposed negotiation stage that it has signed. For the execution of the FTAs, the ministries have well-organized structures and rules. SAFTA, the Indo-Malaysian Comprehensive Economic Corporation Agreement, IMCECA, and the India-Singapore Comprehensive Economic Corporation Agreement, the ISCECA, are a few of the significant agreements that have impacted Indian commerce and opened doors to bigger markets. As with the India-Sri Lanka and SAFTA FTA, the agreements have experienced enormous volumes of surplus trade. Even the FTAs are well controlled and periodically reviewed, as in the case of CCA between Singapore and India. India has unavoidably not benefited from or achieved the desired benefits from each FTA that it has signed. In reality, few FTAs have demonstrated a positive result measured in terms of improved trade balance. It is important to investigate the causes of the trade deficit and the sector-specific actions that must be implemented to benefit from upcoming trade agreements. India has to evaluate its current free trade agreements just as South Korea and Japan did. India needs to diversify its exports and one of the first of its kind is the India-Mauritius CECA. Due to the proliferation of the FTAs with the same nations, India is experiencing the spaghetti bowl effect. Despite the fact that Singapore and Malaysia are a part of the ASEAN FTA, India has FTAs with both of them. Only 30% of the world's traded commodities are represented by India's 70% exports. The emphasis must be shifted from the export of raw materials to high-value products to low-value items. The current FTAs include nations that do little commerce and offer little advantage. Focusing on other important trading partners such as the FTAs being considered with Australia, the UK, the EU and the UAE, etc. will result in significant improvements. The difficulties such as those with the EU must be resolved and agreements must be reached with the major trading partners that can significantly alter the volume of trade with India. Conflict with China the paradigm shift in the attitude towards FTA may be due to the number of factors. Resuming or reopening negotiations with India has become a priority for certain nations as a result of the escalating hostilities between China and India as well as between China and a number of other nations. Geopolitical factors are crucial in shaping business engagements for both China and India. After the COVID-19 tensions, India's dependence on China for imports became an issue, which also gave rise to the Make in India movement. 
This has also encouraged India to share its reliance with other countries. Revisions to Trade Avenues The current India-UAE CEPA is a crucial tactic for enhancing India's e-commerce involvement with other countries. While prior agreements have done this, they have also gone above the WTO criteria. IPR, digital trade and other topics are covered in UAE FTA. This is a good news for India, especially after it left the RCEP over reservations about its e-commerce and digital trade policies. India is the first country to incorporate such a clause on digital trade in an FTA. It will also be accompanied with regulatory norms. Additionally, the EU, Australia, the UK and Canada are being consulted regarding the e-commerce and digital trade provisions. Concentrate on developing economies. India faces a tariff disadvantage compared to the majority of other countries because it entered the FTA arena very late and has been extremely cautious about its agreements. This is a result of its lack of FTAs with economies that are more advanced like the EU. Although there have been debates, they have often landed in failure. Future free trade agreements with nations like the Australia, the UK and EU are anticipated to be more comprehensive and to place a greater emphasis on trade integration. This presents India with a wealth of undiscovered potential areas for collaboration and also a sizable opportunity for Indian enterprises operating abroad. Along with pharmaceutical, food and beverage and the FTA between the EU and India, environmental concerns such as climate change will also be discussed. Similar to this, the USA-India FTA is likely to place a higher emphasis on labor, poverty, immigration and other issues. These agreements very likely won't do anything but increase knowledge exchange with India. Unexplored Areas the African Union is a strong proponent of FTAs with India as an untapped territory. The African countries' free trade area makes sure that the nations on the continent of Africa have a single market on which to do trade. The FTA's potential is still being discussed and the extractive industries account for the majority of existing investments. Overinvestment opportunities in the agricultural, food and service sectors, however, can be attracted by growth expectations. There is a friendly trading relationship between India and the African Union. 60% of India's entire commerce with the Union is with 10 African nations. Despite the enormous potential, a proper agreement may be far from home owing to problems with the infrastructure, a lack of market expertise, language barrier, a lack of financial resources, etc. Despite this, India and Africa have worked together on matters such as digital infrastructures, education and information technologies. If the groundwork is laid sooner and resources are drawn from both sides, it is possible that India's and Africa's trade goals would soon coincide. In conclusion, India's strategy will evolve significantly over the next few decades, if not years, in the grand scheme of things. India's approach to FTAs is motivated by the need to counter China's influence in trade as well as the desire to strengthen commercial ties with other important international players. Greater access to raw materials from nations with abundant resource banks such as Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, the United States and Canada will be made possible by FTAs. Aside from these countries, India must reassess its position on all of its FTAs or go through some of their provisions to make sure they align with countries' present trade ambitions. This will entail, among other unique things, giving technology exchange and transfer more importance. If you watched this video so far, I'm sure you found it interesting. I would urge you to like this video and subscribe to our channel.